Hey guys, welcome to my day six of my keto reboot. I can't believe it's already day six and we are almost done with this thing. It like flew by, honestly. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about my weight today because, you know, I've been losing steadily and then all of a sudden I gained three pounds. And I don't quite know why. I'm gonna say it has to do with my she crab soup that I had on Saturday because there's really no other reason or explanation as to why that would have happened because um, other than my she crab soup I've been like completely on point and I didn't really realize that my she crab soup was not on point until I felt bad afterwards so that just means I need to be a little bit more knowledgeable about what I'm putting in my body not just because it looks good eat it which is why I'm on keto in the first place, because I did a whole lot of, hey, that looks good, let me eat it. And I don't exactly know why, but for whatever reason, whenever I eat something bad or drink alcohol, it's never the next day that it affects me. It's always the, like, next, like, the second day or the third day that I feel bloated and feel like crap and gain weight. So... It's not always the case that, you know, oh, I ate that, I'm fine, it's not going to affect me. It's sometimes it just takes a little bit longer for different things. My body's really weird, I don't know. Maybe it's a PCOS, <laughs> maybe it's just me. I honestly don't know. I wish I knew that, you know, I could fix it, but hey, I'm just getting by day by day. But yeah, I definitely noticed this morning when I woke up that I was bloated, um, I didn't expect when I stepped on the scale for it to say what it said and for me to gain three pounds. Well, I'll just be honest with y'all. It said that I was 162. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then I tried to take a picture of that to show y'all. And my phone made me gain a pound. So I was like, forget that crap. I am not gaining a pound. Just take a picture of my weight. Like, no. And plus, it ain't quite summertime yet, so my toes ain't done. I'm not putting my toes on camera. Like, no. Hey guys, so I just got off work. Um, it is about four o'clock and I am starving out of my mind. I don't know if I didn't eat enough fat with dinner last night or if my keto coffee didn't have enough butter in it or heavy whipping cream. I don't know, but I'm starving. Like, I'm so hungry right now. Like, I'm going to go home and I'm going to eat everything in sight. And this is why I gain weight and this is why I'm fat. I mean, there's no other reason. This is this is it. This is why I'm fat. Because I get hungry and I starve myself. Don't mean to. Because I didn't know I didn't have enough fat. But I don't really know that until like 1.30. And I'm not going to spend money on bad, nasty takeout food. And I'm also not going to spend time in the morning packing a lunch don't got time ain't doing it sorry about it but I will tell you that I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna do exactly what I said I'm gonna take some of Dr. Berg's electrolyte powder because it's healthy and it's good for you and it doesn't have sucralose in it like mine does that I have been taking um and I'm going to go to the gym and I'm super excited about going to the gym and I'm gonna work out hard. I'm gonna burn lots of fat and it's gonna be a good day. Sounds good, right? Let's see if it happens. So I have to tell y'all that I had 64 ounces of water today, which is equivalent to four water bottles of water. And I drink it throughout the day. Honestly, I like to drink two of my big blue bottles and I'll show y'all my big blue bottles. Here, let's see here. Sorry, trying to drive and YouTube is not a good idea. I don't recommend it. No, probably not very safe. But this is my big blue bottle for my water and it's so cute. Has a little straw so I can go. Mm. I can just sip, sip, sip. Um, oh, we're going. Okay, so yeah, that is my big blue bottle for water, and I usually like to drink two of those, which is equivalent to eight bottles of water, which is really good for my water intake. Um, 
I like to drink water so that I don't get like dehydrated feeling. A good trick at home to know if you are dehydrated is to look at the color of your pee. Yeah, I know, kind of crude. Oh well. Yeah, so if your pee is orange or like a bright yellow color, unless you're taking vitamins, because my prenatals that I take, they make my pee like bright yellow, like bright. And I was like, what is going on? I've been drinking water. I don't understand. It's the vitamins. Just, you know, let you know. Because nobody let me know. I thought I was, you know, dying or something. So, if your pee is orange or some color that is not supposed to be and you're not taking vitamins, drink some water. You're probably dehydrated. You know that you might be a redneck if dot dot dot? Yeah. You might be dehydrated if dot dot dot. Your pee is a bright orange. Drink some water. It's really not that hard. I wish I could explain to y'all or show y'all how many crazy looks I get for recording myself while I'm driving. People probably think I'm so conceited. Little do they know. I'm just trying to teach y'all about keto. Get over. If you're getting over, you're not getting over. Okay, cool. Then don't get over. I don't get over. So, I got salad down, but I have no idea what the rest of my dinner will consist of. None. None whatsoever. I can tell you, it's going to be some meat and some vegetables. Because every dinner I eat has meat and vegetables in it. It's kind of like my life. But yeah, you guys. So what I'm going to have my husband do, if it's not too much of a wait, is we're going to order some fresh vegetables from Whole Foods. Because with Amazon Prime... On Prime Now, which is a separate app for Whole Foods, you can actually get Whole Foods delivered to your door, two hours, no shipping. Do I need to repeat myself? Whole Foods delivered to your door, two hours, no shipping fee. No shipping. It's like an Uber for food. It's great, great stuff. And last time I got produce from there, it was green and gorgeous and it tasted amazing and it lasted a little bit longer than your average does because it's all organic they don't sell regular stuff it's all organic but yeah it was amazing it was the best lettuce I've had in such a long time yeah and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna have my avocado and my egg and I'm just gonna have a delicious salad and I will take a video of it and I will show you guys I will show you guys my amazing salad that I make I will so back to my diet what i have to do tonight to not have the same episode that i had today is i have to eat more fat more fat alexis more fat you have to eat more fat 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 if i tell myself these things and guess what they might happen you know if you don't tell yourself something then you're not going to be wanting to succeed and you're probably not going to make it happen Y'all, my hair is a wreck today. I do not know what I was thinking before I left the house this morning. Probably wasn't. <sighs> so, y'all, I have to be completely honest with you. I'm not happy about it, but I came home and I went straight to the peanuts. These peanuts right here will literally be the death of me. I 110% promise you these peanuts will be the death of me. But I mean, how could they not? Just look at them. They look so freaking delicious. Ugh. Okay, so just to update on my day six. So far, it was a total fail. Uh, I didn't do anything that I wanted to do when I got off work. Um, so yeah, I ended up going out to dinner and getting hot wings. They were naked. They weren't breaded, so... I mean, they were still sort of on plan, not the best dinner, but still definitely not going to do anything crazy to me. Um, I had that with blue cheese. I had, I ordered 12 and I only ate 11, which is really good because usually I eat like 18 or 24 because I have absolutely no self-control. So that's good. And then I had 12 steamed shrimp dipped in butter. And I tell you what, I have never had 
steamed shrimp dipped in butter and it was the greatest thing I've ever tasted in my whole entire life. And then of course I had like two or three glasses of water with lemon. So yeah, that was my dinner. Um, we're gonna try again day seven and see how that goes because today, like I said, was just a total, total, total fail. And um, I'm hoping tomorrow will be a little bit better if not a whole lot better i definitely do want to go to the gym tomorrow since i didn't get to today and i don't know if y'all know this but i have an office job and i sit down on my butt for eight hours a day totally is going to be the death of me no doubt in my mind um so you know dieting is like really what i need to do i've actually read a book called desk bound and it says that um sitting at a desk for eight hours is worse than smoking two packs of cigarettes a day. So I'm slowly killing myself, but you know, getting paid for it, so I guess that's good. So yeah, tomorrow we are gonna go for day seven and we are gonna do everything keto-fied and have a perfect day, go to the gym, exercise, have a keto dinner. Sounds great, right? Yeah, I hope it happens. So you guys, that is it for my day six video. Um, sorry I didn't get to video record the food. I was kind of at a bar, so, you know, that's kind of awkward. But I will definitely check in with y'all tomorrow for day number seven. Okay, guys, well, have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!